I'd like to officially welcome all of you to the new product update event series that Upwork is launching. And we're launching this event series in order to um, educate the Upwork community about the new features that have been launched. So we have lots of exciting information to share during this short 30 minute webinar today. Um, we'll get acquainted first and then we'll dive into the topic, which um, today we'll be discussing the new schedule a meeting feature that is within Upwork messages. So my name is Haley. I am the customer education and training specialist at Upwork. And as part of my job, I get to learn about these new feature updates and then make sure that we are keeping you all um, in the Upwork community informed about them. And you may have heard about this new ability to schedule a meeting directly within Upwork messages, or maybe you've even used it already yourself. Um, but Max is joining us for this event today because he is the Upwork product manager who actually worked on developing this enhancement. So he'll be able to provide us with some additional insights about the feature today. And finally, you may see our wonderful partner from the customer support team, Katrina, uh, answering some of your questions during our session. Uh, to start our event, I'm going to share a little background about this update and why Upwork um, decided to create this schedule meeting feature in the first place. And then Max is going to share a demo of this feature so that you all can see it in action. And after that, we will um, share a couple of frequently asked questions that we've received since launching the feature. And we'll also answer a couple questions live, of course, as well. So again, feel free to send those over in Slido. Um, and finally, when we close out the event today, um, we'll share some additional resources with you all that you can check out after the event. And you'll get a sneak peek at what feature update we will be having an event about next. So let's talk about why this schedule meeting feature was created. The problem that the community was facing before was that scheduling a meeting or interview um, was oftentimes a very manual process. It could be time consuming or um, sometimes even error prone and talent and clients had to exchange a lot of messages back and forth to find shared availability. And then they would have to account for the time zone conversion and add the meeting to their individual calendars. Additionally, Upwork Terms of Service now forbid users from communicating outside of Upwork um, and sharing private data prior to initiating a contract. So that means it poses a risk to both the freelancer and the client to be scheduling any meetings using a third party tool. So as a result, the schedule a meeting feature was highly requested by Upwork users and the development team thought that enabling meeting scheduling within Upwork messages would greatly improve that scheduling process. The development team started testing this feature back in July of this past summer. Um, and by mid-August, it was available to all Upwork users. So you may have seen it or even used it already. And I actually want to take a moment to get a good gauge of the audience today. So if you wouldn't mind hopping over to Slido um, and pulling up the live poll to participate and let us know if you've already used this meeting schedule feature, or um, if you haven't yet, that's okay too. We just wanna get a good gauge of where everyone is at. And I'll give people a few moments so you have a chance to navigate to Slido. Again, the code is in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, so you can use that. And let me look at what we're getting here in the results for Slido. So it looks like the majority of you have not tried it yet, um, which that's no problem at all. We're gonna talk about in the next uh, slide here a little demonstration of how to use it. So let me hop over to Max's video. Hi everyone, here's Max from the Upwork team. Today, I will show you how easy it is to schedule interviews, work or other meetings on Upwork. So to start with, click on the schedule a meeting link inside of a room where you want to book a meeting. Now, select calendar you want to use. Currently, it's possible to connect Google or Microsoft calendar you can also skip this step, and in such case, all booked meetings will be stored only on Upwork. I will select Google. Now enter your Gmail and click Connect. Choose the account you want to use, and 
allow access to your calendar for Upwork. Verify your time zone and provide when you're usually free for meetings. Now you're set up. You can select the meeting lens and share it in the room, and any other room participant can click on the link you shared and book a meeting with you. Now let me try to click on the link that I shared uh, from the, another user's profile. I can click on it, select time, date and time, and confirm. And then the meeting is booked. Now when the meeting is booked, it's possible to cancel, reschedule, or edit manually to another calendar by clicking these links in the system message. Or it's also possible to do the same actions from the received email notification. The meeting is also added to the uh, to the Google Calendar. It is here, and from this Google Calendar, you uh, are able to also reschedule or cancel this meeting. And it's also possible to uh, join this meeting by clicking on this link. So that's it. Uh, that's how you can schedule a meeting on Upwork. Thanks. All right, hopefully seeing that step-by-step -step process was helpful um, for a lot of you. And since the launch of this feature update back in mid-August, we've received several frequently asked questions from the Upwork community. Um, so we'd like to address a few of those first, and then we'll dive into some of the questions that um, you all are sending on Slido today. So, um, Max, the first question, some freelancers have been wondering, how do I encourage a client to use this feature instead of their own personal calendar and meeting tools? Yeah, that's a great question. And because most of the clients use Microsoft or Google calendars already, uh, you shouldn't basically uh, encourage them to use the scheduler instead of their personal calendars. They can simply sync their Google or Microsoft calendar with the meeting scheduler. And in such case, uh, they will be using the meeting scheduler and at the same time, they will be using their private uh, uh, calendar. And it's important to encourage this route, especially before a contract is started on Upwork uh, in order to stay compliant with Upwork's terms of service. And uh, that's also important because Upwork cannot protect you when communication is taken off the platform. Right. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for that reminder. Um, a lot of people have also been asking, do I have to link my personal calendar in order to use this feature at all? Uh, well, you're not required to link your calendar, but uh, certain functionalities such as, for example, calendar alerts will be unavailable to you if you don't. Gotcha. Okay. So it seems like probably linking the calendar would be the preferred option. Um, what about when you're inviting people to these meetings? Some users have wondered if they can add people who are not within the Upwork message room. Okay. So from the Upwork messaging platform, only people in the message room can be invited to a meeting created for, for that room. However, if you added this event to your uh, Google or Microsoft calendar, it's possible to invite other to this calendar event uh, because it would work like with any other regular calendar event. You just need to have those user emails and to okay. add them to this event. Gotcha. Great. So essentially then you could just forward that calendar event to whoever else in your personal email that you need to. Yep. Um, awesome. The final FAQ that I want to cover before we dive into some of the live questions. Um, some people are curious if I disconnect my calendar after accepting meeting invitations, will they then disappear from my calendar? Uh, no, they will be still present in your calendar. Uh, you cannot remove or edit them uh, on the Upwork platform, but you will be still able to do it from your calendar. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering all of those. I'm actually going to shift over 
um, and let Katrina pull some of the questions that are coming through in Slido live during the event today. So um, Katrina, if you want to let us know what are some of the top questions and Max can answer some of those as well. Yeah, definitely. I'm pulling them up now. A lot of great questions are coming through. Um, one of them is, this one has actually three upvotes on it. My main concern is security as we need to provide access to our calendar for Nihilus. How reliable and safe is this? Uh, okay, actually it's a great question. And uh, the, uh, the Nihilus is one of our vendors and our relationships with vendors are covered by our terms of service. So it's covered uh, by our legal end from the Upwork standpoint. Uh, of course, you're sharing your calendar information with Nihilus. However, it's one of our approved vendors. And by approved, I mean from the stand product standpoint, from the legal standpoint, and from engineering, et cetera, et cetera, standpoints. So uh, yeah, it's, it's approved by Upwork. Awesome. Thank I, you. I, I, I um, cannot say that like it's 100% safe, but it's something that we do also with some of our other partners that we are partnering with other vendors. Awesome. We have another one here that has two upvotes. Um, is this the one? Um, the meeting, okay. The meeting is directly on Upwork or do I need to download another app? Uh, so the meeting is created directly on Upwork. And if you want, you can sync your Google or Microsoft calendar if you already have one with Upwork. And in such case, the meeting will be also added to your Google or Microsoft calendar. But if not, you can just skip the sync, uh, the synchronization step. And in such case, it will be just present on Upwork. So you don't need to add or install any other, uh, any other apps. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Max. This one is a popular one for upvotes here. Why does Upwork want to allow 45 and 60 minute meetings booked without a paid consulting engagement? Uh, okay, it's a great question. And it's uh, one of the features that we are currently working on. So potentially we plan to allow users to define the pricing for paid consultations and use the meeting scheduler uh, within this feature. However, it's not yet available and I am not allowed to share any more details about that. I think I could add to this as well. Um, I think it depends a lot on the skill category that you are working in on Upwork. Um, some need you know the 45 to 60 minute time frame to even understand in an interview or a meeting before a contract um, if you know it's compatible for moving forward with further work. So I think it could be beneficial to certain skill categories, but definitely if you're working in something that you only need to meet with the client for 15 or 30 minutes, um, I think that's why we have a range of options there in the schedule meeting feature. Yes, currently uh, the meeting scheduler is used the most for interviews. So uh, if, if you're starting a long, a long uh, contract, for like probably full-time contract, long-term uh, contract, clients quite often require to pass a 60-minute interview. Uh, sometimes it takes like one uh, or more interviews. So it's the, currently it's the main... Uh, go like uh, the meeting schedule is mainly used for this purpose however uh, as Haley also mentioned it's used for work meetings so after you started the contract and client is already paying you you're able to still book like 60 minute meeting and discuss your work during this time so yeah awesome thank you Paul. Um, we have more with a lot of upvotes. Um, three on this one. Um, there are still clients that require an interview with me during unavailable hours. How do I let a client know about my hours? Uh, it's possible to 
uh, provides your availability in the meeting scheduler. So basically you can choose whenever you're available during the week. And also if you sync your actual uh, calendar with the meeting scheduler, all the unavailable uh, slots will be automatically excluded from your availability slots. So later, if you share this uh, booking link with your client, the client will see only available time slots. Right. Uh, what about different time zones? Uh, it, the time zones part is covered in the meeting scheduler. So if you're providing uh, your availability time slots in your time zones, time zone, it will be converted to the time zone of the user who are booking a meeting with you. So if, for example, a client from Europe will open your uh, scheduling link and you will provide availability like in the European time zone, the client will still see it in the American time zone. So yeah, it's covered already. Awesome. And how will the meeting run in action? Is it video or voice meeting? Does it have file sharing? Yeah, uh, so currently uh, one minute before a meeting starts, there's uh, a notification that reminds you about the meeting and usually it already consists a zoom meeting link and by clicking on this link you're able just to join this meeting uh, also this link is present here in, in the calendar event if you synced the meeting scheduler with your calendar so currently it's a zoom meeting and during the Zoom meeting, you're able to share your screen, share your video, and talk to the client. And you can always share any files in the uh, messaging room. Um, a follow-up to that, Max, would be if for the Zoom meeting, is the host whoever initiated the meeting, or um, are they both just equal participants in that Zoom meeting? Because I know there's different levels of access within Zoom, depending on the type of meeting. So the Zoom meeting is created on the Upwork platform. And once it's created on the Upwork platform, the host is always Upwork. And both okay. participants are just participants. Yeah. Got it. And then I think you might have already answered this one, but it says, uh, why are we not holding this meeting on the app now instead of Zoom? Uh, that's a great question. And at Upwork, we use Zoom as well. So the only difference would be is that we would have a Zoom link posted in Upwork instead of the direct meeting event. Uh, and I believe that we didn't do it because we have too many participants right now. Uh, in this meeting, and it's uh, pretty tough to create a messaging room for those participants right away. Uh, so our product currently is not optimized for such events, uh, but we could do it with a smaller, uh, with a smaller number of people. Probably will uh, probably will do it in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, does the meeting log automatically to my working hours? Nope. So the meeting scheduler only allow, uh, allows you to book a meeting. And uh, you can just book a meeting without even spending time on the meeting itself. So these are two separate things. The meeting scheduler allows you to be, book a meeting. And then if your client is online, you can join the meetings together, or you can just simply chat in messages instead. And answering your question, it is not yet added to your uh, time log. Um, here we have one with two uploads. So many great questions just keep flowing in. Um, how can I propose someone to schedule a time slot this Wednesday without proposing all Wednesdays till infinity? That's a great question. And uh, for now, uh, we limited this functionality. Um, there's no ability to do that. 
only if you will sync your calendar and make all the Wednesday instead of the next one unavailable. Uh, only in such way uh, currently it's possible to propose this time next Wednesday and not the following Wednesdays. However, we are looking into the opportunity to uh, provide this limitation in the upper user interface. It's not only okay. up to us, but also up to our vendor Nylas, who are we using for this integration. So we are working with them to make it uh, available. Sounds awesome. Um, okay, can I send the client a meeting invite without them having to go through my calendar and pick a meeting time? Most clients wants most clients want me to set up the meeting. That's an interesting use case. Currently, uh, there's no such possibility. Um, and that's an, not a common behavior for the meeting scheduler if you're uh, looking into similar solutions like Calendly or you can book me, but it's definitely an interesting use case. And we may want to think about it more internally. Thanks for this one. Awesome. Um, I love this one. This is not a question, but a form of appreciation. Thank you for the new update, Max and the team. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Two upvotes. <laughs> um, awesome. I have been, oh no, wait, where's the one? Oh, here we go. So if the client requested to have a meeting, do I have the option as a freelancer to reschedule the meeting? Yes. So if the meeting is scheduled already, you're able to reschedule it in your messaging room, or it's possible to do it also in the calendar event. If you're synced your Google calendar, you can just reschedule the event and it will be reflected in the messaging room as well. And also we are sending an email notification about booked meeting and there's an option to reschedule a meeting present as well. Awesome. I'm trying to find, there's a lot of questions in here. I'm trying to find schedule specific ones. Um, you may have already answered this, but um, does it sync so that it only offers times I'm actually free? Yes, that's, that's exactly what the Microsoft and Google calendar synchronization means. So you're able to sync your personal calendar with this feature. And in such case, it will exclude all your busy times uh, from, from, from your uh, booking link. And once you share this link, the, the user, the client most likely will see on the available uh, timeframes. I have a quick follow-up question to that, Max. Um, I know with Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook as well, um, you can create events that have maybe different categories or tags or naming conventions. Um, so I just wanted to confirm, you said only those events that are busy. So if you have an event on there where you're marked as free, the calendar or the meeting scheduler would still read that as an available time? Uh, no, it will read it as busy because it currently okay. reads all events added to your calendar. Uh, if you, if you uh, denied it, then it will not add it to your calendar. In such case, it will not block this uh, uh, block of time. However, if you answered maybe or yes, it will still uh, show you as busy. Okay, that's good to know. I don't know if there's anyone else like me out there, but I love to put my to-dos on my calendar. So I would definitely need to be careful with that. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Maybe one more question, Katrina? One more, okay. Um, let me see. I had one and I lost it. Um, oh, can we create another email account just for setting up meetings in Upwork? One that is different from the email we registered in creating the Upwork profile. Yes, it's currently possible. So, but once you connected this profile to your uh, Upwork profile, this different email to your Upwork profile, then there will be no way to connect it to another profile. So you cannot use one Gmail, for example, account for two Upwork profiles. However, you can use a random Gmail account that is not the same with your Upwork profile. Thank you. 
Thank you. And then I'll pass it over to you, Haley. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Max for all of your insight on the um, schedule meeting feature. And thank you everyone for submitting such thoughtful questions. Uh, we really appreciate your participation in this event today. Um, unfortunately, we're getting to the end of our time. It was a short webinar we had scheduled, but as promised, we want to save um, a minute or two to share some other information. Um, and I just want to remind you all before we close out, you can continue this conversation in the Upwork community. Um, we have the specific link on the slide here, or of course you can scan the QR code as well. There's already a thread that exists where people are um, asking questions about the schedule meeting feature. And um, our community moderators are ready and available to answer those questions and loop in experts like Max. Um, however, if you are having issues with the functionality of this feature, we do ask that you direct those concerns to our customer support team. And you can find all sorts of help articles and get in touch with the support team at um, support.upwork.com. And I also wanted to point out this specific article. I've linked a, or listed a bit.ly link on the screen here, bit.ly help-meeting-scheduler because this could be helpful for not only freelancers that are new to using the feature, but also to any of the clients that you might be working with who are unfamiliar with it as well. So if you're trying to set up a meeting or use that feature and um, you're both new to using it, this could be a really beneficial article to bookmark and share um, so that you can reference it. All right, before we close out, I know we're just at time, but I wanted to give you all a sneak peek at the next event that's coming up. Um, our next event will be about the new feature, again, within Upwork Messaging, um, the Loom recording integration. So if you join us again in a couple of weeks, it's going to be on Tuesday, November 16th, again at 9 a.m. Pacific, and we'll walk through how to record a screen share and send that directly from within Upwork Messages. And I also want to remind you all um, that when you're using Upwork, keep an eye out for the little blue icon that says new. That will indicate any um, feature that has been updated recently. And you can, of course, bookmark the events page as well so that you can make sure to register for these types of events, upwork.com slash community slash events, so you can stay on top of that.